hello today I'm here with a new video and always this hand today I'm going to show you five 15 palettes and show the best color in each palette I first saw this at the Lacey's channel spooky lips and fat hips and also Paulina Beauty and Angelica Nyqvist had has done this and now I am going to do this and I have picked out 15 palettes and I'm going to take my favorite color out of each palette and swatch it on my arm my swatching game isn't the best but I will try and what I'm thinking I'm going to have it's much orange shades and maybe yellows mostly warm shades so that's what I think and also a couple of browns the first palette I will start with it's the NYX ultimate brights palette it look like this it's very colorful palette the shadows are not so good uh, I have tried a more better colors colorful colors but I really like this yellow here it's not as yellow but you can build it up with glitter glue and stuff so it looks like this next palette is from makeup geek and this is many muas collab with makeup geek and the palette looks like this and my favorite color this one it's called frappe and it looks like this so this is a frappe from makeup geek and this color is in there, I think it's one of the normal colors, it's not only in this one. So if you want it, this frappe, you can get it. Next up we have Nabla, uh, Soul Blooming. And it looks like this. And <laughs> now we're coming in to my first glittery eyeshadow and it's this Garden State. It's a dual chrome shadow, it's a little pink purple and blue i don't know how it comes up in the camera it's not as opaque i usually put this over other eyeshadows and not wear it on its own but here you can see it's very duochromic duochrome and it's really really nice to put over like this color or this one so yeah it's Garden State from Nabla. Next up we have the Creepy Cute palette from Strobe Cosmetic. And in this one, first I was going to take this, the orange shade. But when I think about it, I really like this one, um, Creep It Real. It's a, I don't really know the color, it's green turquoise maybe. I really love this color. I usually don't like green as much, but this one, it's first of all very, very good quality on this. And it's vegan, and yeah, it looks like this. It looks really blue in the camera, but it's it's green. <laughs> so that is Creep It Real from Strop. Next up we have the Infinity Palette by Linda Halberg Cosmetics. This is a very natural palette, and it's, yeah. It's a very good palette. It looks like this. My absolute favorite in this one is Swiggy. It's this orange browny color. Should I swatch it here? And this I have used today in my crease. And I really really love this color. It's one of my favorite colors. So it's Wiggy from Linda Halberg. Next palette is Color Drain Queen of Hearts. Looks like this. These are some of the best colors I have ever tried. Both the matte colors and um, I think they are calling them metallic. Yeah, metallic. This is one of the best palettes I have ever tried out. Uh, my favorite color in this one is this. It's called Your Majesty. Now you're going to see why. You can see the finger swatch. And okay. Do I want to hold my arm like this? That. 
Do you see this? This is one of the prettiest eyeshadows I have. It's so creamy and it's so blendable and yeah, I really like it. So this is Your Majesty from Queen of Hearts. Colored Rain Queen of Hearts. Next up we have the Kristen, Kristen Leanne from Urban Decay. Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream. And this looks like this. And I have the brush still in there. And my favorite color oof, from this palette is this one. It's Tajin. It's an orange. Orangey color. I'll put it here. This I really, really, really like. Maybe it's one of the most pouring colors in this palette. But it's totally up my alley. And I really, really love it. I can't stop looking at this. The next palette is also from Urban Decay and it's the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette. This is a couple of years old and I don't think you can get it anymore. No, you can't. Um, I think this is coming out Christmas or something like this. That <laughs> It looks like this so it's maybe not so funny. Um, but I really li live like this. It's called Anaheim. I almost forgot how creamy these are. And this is a pretty boring color on its own. But I really like it to have it maybe in my crease or if I want to do something very natural. So yeah, this is Anaheim from Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay. I don't think it has a name. I think it's only called Gwen Stefani. Now we are going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills and first up we have Subculture this was my first Anastasia palette I love this palette and this one I have two shadows that I love so it was a little bit difficult for me to choose one but I think I have made up my mind it was between these two it's New Wave and Edge but I think New Wave is my absolute favorite of these two I'm gonna swatch it here. It's a perfect color. I really, really, really love it. The next palette from Anastasia is Prism. And here I have one. It was no question about which color and it's, it's Saturn, this. I don't really know how to describe it. But it looks like this. It's like a terracotta brick red or something like this. I love it. I have used this most of all the colors in this palette. So yeah, that is Saturn. And the last one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is Soft Glam. And it looks like this. And here I really love this Sienna color. This is also a brown with a little bit of red in it, I would say. <laughs> These look like the same colors. So yeah, it's Sienna from Soft Glam. So now it's four palettes left and the it's is my UVS Place palettes. So we start with the first one, the Zula palette. These shadows don't have any name, but I love this yellow. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I'm going to swatch it right here. It is, it is a little bit hard without the sticky base for this as well. But it's a really, really, really pretty color. Then I also have the Festival by Juvia's Place. And this looks like this. And my favorite color in this palette is this one, the one of the red ones. And it's Isafa, and it's very, very, very pretty color. It is a cold toned red. I usually go for the warm tones, but this color is so pretty and so easy to work with. I really love this color. 
So yeah, then we have the Doucet palette from Juvia's Place. This I think is the most... This I think is the most boring palette I have from Juvia's Place, but it's a really nice palette. And in here I really love that, pa that palette, that color named Tarte. And this is a really, really nice color. It doesn't show up on my skin, I think. I usually have this in my inner corner. To highlight a little bit and it has a little how should I describe this I think it's pink and a little bit white I hope you can see it and the last palette is the magic palette by UVS this was my first palette from UVS place I don't use it as much nowadays but I really really love it and it looks like this if I were going to buy this now, I should buy the little one, and the small one. They have the big one and the little one in this. Um, when I bought it, they only have the big one, but if I were supposed to buy it now, I would buy the small one. So my favorite color in this palette is this gold color. This is the best gold eyeshadow I have, and it's Nubai. And this is so, so pretty, so pretty. And it looks like that. It's the best gold that I have and I love it. So this is 15 of the best eyeshadows in 15 of my different eyeshadow palettes. And as you can see, it's mostly warm colors it's most brown orange and mostly matte so yeah i will write all the palettes down in the description box and also which colors i have picked so this is the 15 best eyeshadow colors in 15 different of my eyeshadow palettes that was a long sentence so i really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!